Now, um, it looks like shit right here, but anyways, um, I still gotta finish adjusting the wires here. I want to show that I have a T180, a T180 for the, uh, adjusting. I use, this is a waterproof servo from Tekken. It took me a long time to get it. I don't know why it took so long to get it, but I, it took me a while. I finally got it. I installed it. I am very happy with it. Very, very, very happy with it. There's not a problem with it. Um, I'm just showing that I changed the original one to this instead. It's a little bit stronger and better waterproof. I could go through water or whatnot. Even though I really don't want to go through water, but if I have to, I can. Um, my interior looks basically like this. I don't know if you can see this or not. It's a Raptor. Those are the gauge, the wrap, the gauges, RPM gauges up front, right there by the dash. Um, those are the back seats. This is how I wired it. Um, right there is for the front lights. These back ones are in the back. It says RR. Those are for the rear. Those are your main lights, your main, you know, turn signals and all that. The, that's the main system for that. And these are for your accessories, rear accessories and front accessories. I could still put a row bar, I mean, a, a, a light bar on top. I was thinking about doing it, but my wife's like, nah, it looks good like that. Don't, don't put too much overdoing it. So, and I made my wires come this way. I still have to do more adjusting once I set the cab back down. And I am now going to, this is how I put my Reeves servo, Reeves servo, servo winch. I cut a hole in that spot right there. And then I put the, mounted the winch with these uh, screws here from um, RC4 drive. From their uh, accessories screws. This is just a long screw with a bunch, with three little things attached to it. You'll know when you buy this kit. And I'm about to take out this Tekken 440. <sighs> yeah, don't say 440 on it, but I'm about to take that one out. I think it says 440 on the side or something. And put a um, a bigger server, a stronger server, a 777 by um, here. Uh, Reese 777. Put that one on because I put the, this I had this on it and I thought it would be strong enough but I guess the truck is too heavy or something it just does not turn it well so I'm going to um, switch it out to the triple seven I'm working on it I'm not done yet but I gotta get it done because I got a few other projects I want to get done. I got it. So I'm trying to get this one done. I got a Holmes Pooler Pro Stubby 3300KV. 3, and look at that. He gave me a lollipop. I got a lollipop. Yay. Nobody ever gives you nothing for free. He actually gave me something for free. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I know my son will try to steal it from me, but <laughs> I was still going to try to eat some of it. I'll probably give him half. <laughs> All right. Thank you, man. I appreciate the lollipop. That's something no one really does anymore. So that yeah, was cool. I, I Believe me, I smiled and got excited. <laughs> I seen that time my wife. Look at He actually put a lollipop in. That's cool. I tripped out. But anyways. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. The lights. I don't know if you've seen this before, but it has a... I put that little light system right there. I should have bought the GPS part and put that in there. I'll probably do that later if I get more time. Looks cool, though. Oh, yeah. I, I did a, that with the chrome, the chrome pin. Outlined it. And I had some other chrome detailing in there. Look at the knobbies and all that. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? The radio knobs. I didn't do any more chroming, I think. I did on the doors, but that's when the doors, the cab's on. All right. 
Let's clean that dusty. Oh yeah, I upgraded the shocks. And that's it for now until I get done with this mess. Make it nice and clean and then I'll take another video. Goodbye. Okay,